Hello các bạn, uh, hello everyone. Today I'm gonna go to Club Pilates uh, for uh, informal flow for the first time. Uh, I just joined the club, so um, then now I'm gonna go to uh, the um, informal flow class. Uh, bây giờ mình sẽ đi học lớp informal flow của chỗ uh, Club Pilates nha các bạn. Nhưng mình mới vô cái membership thôi, cho nên uh, lần đầu mình tập cái này thì uh, chưa có quen với lại cái exercise này lắm cho nên à, mình mình cũng sẽ quay cho các bạn coi nếu có thể nha. Sure, if I can film it. Uh, so uh, I'm just gonna try to see if I can film it. Okay. Okay. So right now I'm on Seventh Street uh, in Garden City, New York, and uh, this is where I film. Uh, I record a video about fall foliage for you guys so uh, I joined the Club Pilates club and then um, now I'm gonna walk there và cái loại membership mà mình lựa là unlimited thì là 229 đồng một tháng nha các bạn nhé rồi tháng đầu tiên mình được uh, discount mình trả có 183 đồng cho tháng đầu tiên thôi và cái tiền uh, phí uh, mình join đó thì nó quay tại cái studio này nó mới mở mình uh, đi đang đi tới chỗ club Pilates đó các bạn cái con đường số 7 này là hồi trước uh, hôm bữa mình uh, mới quay video lá đổ màu cho các bạn coi đó thì mình đi club Pilates ở đây nhé. Bây giờ mình vô Ok, these are the copies to put the stuff in Mấy cái ngăn bỏ đồ Rồi, uh, cái này là bàn tiếp tân reception area And you have clothing right here to sell it um, Họ bán luôn cả quần áo tập thể dục của các bạn Rồi, uh, over here to be this water You have uh, all these things, clothing, duffel bags, water bottles, uh, socks, good socks um, They sell it. Uh, the clothing are made in USA. Bán quần áo và ở đây mấy cái bao đựng để tập thể dục bình nước của các bạn. Còn cái này là cái uh, cái chỗ mà mấy cái ghế dụng cụ để tập mấy cái miếng mát này kia đó. So these are the reformers and uh, the mat for you to exercise. Uh, bây giờ mình bắt đầu uh, tập nha. Uh, so the class begins. So I'm gonna begin exercising. Uh, it's my first time, so please don't laugh. Let me. À, lần đầu tiên mình tập nha các bạn có thể tập nha. Uh, mình cũng có điều chỉnh cái máy camera thường xuyên của mình đó. Mình phải tập đó. Uh, các bạn có thể tập nha. While I'm exercising, I cannot really um, move my cameras and adjust it uh, the angle. So uh, if there's anything, uh, please excuse me for that. Um, I would I have to uh, exercise. So uh, excuse me for uh, not adjusting camera moving to the angle that needs to be seen. Okay, thank you. Good. So that's what that two-way stretch and Pilates refers to. Strong center, one part of body. 
body heading in one direction and the other heading the other, stretching out. Good. And try and find that connection here between your inner thighs and zipping up, pushing into the foot bar and the lower abs digging in. Good. Really nice. One more time, exhale, pressing away. And then inhale, dragging it right back in. Good. When the carriage is closed this time, keep it closed. And we're going to open the feet to the wider edge of the foot bar. Open your feet to the wider edges of the foot bar. Your heels are directly underneath your knees. So make sure however wide you open, you open your knees to match. Good. From here, take a nice inhale. Exhale, press yourself away. See if you can still find the inner thigh. Inhale, drag that carriage to a close. Good. Really wait the tailbone first so your pelvis doesn't curl. Then press yourself back. Good. Keep the tailbone heavy and drag the carriage close. Good. This is a spot where, for whatever reason, the pelvis likes to roll up. Try not to let that happen. So exhale, press yourself out, and then inhale, drag it, close the tailbone, sticking back behind you. Good. Two more. Pressing yourself back, lengthening, feeling the inner thighs with two magnets, lifting to lengthen the carriage, dragging it back in. Last one, exhale, press yourself away, sink the belly button down, keep it pulling into the spine as you drag the carriage close. And this, if your carriage is closed, keep it closed. We're going to slide the feet to the center of the bar. The balls of the feet are going to come off. And your feet are going to lower so that you can wrap the toes around the bar. Good. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Keep the tailbone heavy. And keep the heels heavy to start. Take it as you bend up. Exhale, press yourself away. Hold here. Now wrap your toes around the bar and pull yourself in. Good. Exhale, press yourself away. Use the wrap of the bar to drag the carriage in. So for this one, the muscular resistance is on the way in. So pressing out, wrap the toes, pull the carriage closed, find the glutes and hamstring. Good. Really, really nice. Exhale, pressing out, feel the legs lengthen completely, and then drag the carriage closed. So the hands are going to Drag the carriage closed. Good. Last one, pressing out, drag that carriage close. Keep your feet exactly where they are and lift your heels up high. Notice if your heels separated. Roll the inside together to the top of the legs, keeping everything connected. Keep the heels lifted and exhale, press yourself away. See how this feels different with the heels lifted. And then drag that carriage close, lifting the heels even higher. So exhale, press it away. Find that string dragging the knees up to the ceiling, heels up even higher. Good. As you cross the legs, feel the quads lengthening. So full extension of the legs. Good. And then drag that carriage all the way close. Two more. And so pressing out the legs and legs. Good. Inhale, drag the carriage close. Good. Last one, we're going to press out and hold out. Good. Press yourself away. Keep your legs and your legs. Squat the lift and muscle over the knees. Pull it up and then hold here. Keep the legs and your legs. Squat the lift and muscle over the knees. Pull it up and then hold here. Keeping your legs straight, we're going to take a nice deep inhale. Exhale, begin to lower your heels under the bar. Good. And inhale, slowly lifting your heels up to their high heel. Good. And exhale, lowering the heels under the bar. Good. Keeping the legs straight, lifting to your high heel. And exhale, lower. And inhale, lift. Good. See if you can articulate through the foot as you're lowering down and avoiding that bounce. And with control, lifting up to the high heel, feeling the ankles, calves, stretch, strengthening all those little muscles for the mints and tendons. Good. Last one, holding your high heel position. And now we're going to lower just the right heel under the bar. So bend your left knee and let the right heel drop. Now watch your knees. It's still directly pointing up to the ceiling. Make sure it can float outside the body and switch. Good. And switch. And now place the hands on either side of your hips and see what your hips are doing. You want to maintain this pelvic bone more stability. Make sure your hips are not shifting, dancing, lifting. Keep two hip bones pointing up. Pelvis is nice and still, drawing the abs up and in. See if you can keep this stability and pick up the pace a little bit. Good. This connection here will be super important for the rest of your class. Stabilize your pelvis and your lumbar spine, drawing the abs up and in, while opposite parts of your body are mobilized. Let's do two more on each side, go nice and even. Then you can straighten up your legs, bend your knees, lift your heels up high to close the carriage. Good. 
Do tap behind you for your headrest and make sure it's completely flat if it's not right now. Just for your position so just make sure that you're not in the halfway up or down. Good. You're going to bring your heels onto the foot bar. Now you're going to separate your heels so you move about a fist distance in between them. Then roll the shoulders down the back of the body. Allow your arms to reach by your side. Fingertips are nice and long. Chest is open. Two collarbones pointing up. Good. The weight is even on all four corners of your feet. Really nice. Keep the weight even, all 10 toes face forward. Take a nice deep inhale, ribs widen. Exhale, begin to roll your pelvis towards you. Engage your abdominals, contract your glutes, and slowly peel your hips up off of your former, keeping that carriage nice and still. Good, keep holding your hips and your heels closer to one another to keep that carriage from moving. Good, lifting the glutes high enough so that you're in one long line between your shoulders, hips, and knees. Draw hands up and in. Good, holding steady here. Good. Slowly, we're going to begin to soften the breast bone, rolling through the upper back, feeling the ribs melt into the mat as you ripple down your spine, keeping that carriage perfectly still. Glutes stay lifted until the very last moment as you roll through your lower spine, and then you're all the way, all the way down. Good. So rolling all the way, all the way, all the way down. Good. Nice. Take a nice deep inhale. Nice. I'll roll the pelvis for you. And slowly begin to peel your hips off one inch at a time, seeing if you can keep the carriage from moving even a millimeter. Good. Keep drawing the abs up and in. Engage the glutes. Good. Heel the hips pulling closer to one another, lifting your hips high enough so the weight comes just to your shoulders, but you're in one long line. Good. Drawing the abs in closer as if your belly button is going to touch your spine and your glutes are so lifted, they're going to lift up and touch your belly button. Good. Holding here. Really nice. Making sure all 10 toes face forward. Good, lifting the glutes a little higher and go. And now you can press yourself out and lengthen to one long line. Good, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen out. Reach, reach out, lengthen your legs just with your footwork, press it up. Good, and now pull yourself in as you exhale, closing the carriage completely. Good, inhale, press yourself away, lengthening the quad. See if you can keep your knee aiming right through the ceiling here, even without the ball. And exhale, drag the carriage in. Good, pay attention to those other thighs. One more time, inhale, press yourself away. Two knees pointing up to the ceiling still. And exhale, drag that carriage, close completely, stopping at the top. And slowly, slowly rolling down your spine. One more right time, good. Softening through the back ribs until your lower back comes down. Good, now reach down here and find your ball. And see how it feels different when you come up. See if it helps you at all with that inner thigh connection. So you're squeezing the ball from your inner thigh, but your feet are staying exactly where they are. Heels are right underneath your knees. Try not to move your feet at all. Good. Weight is on all four corners of the foot, and that squeeze comes from the tops of your inner thighs. Good. Roll the shoulders down the back of the body. Fingertips are reaching long. Try to they're active. Good. See if you can test your balance here. Cover your arms up just a bit. See if you can come up without pressing into your arms. Your arms are going to hover and inches you off the mat. Good. Take a nice deep inhale. Exhale, roll the pelvis towards you, squeeze them off, and you start peeling your hips up one inch at a time. Keeping that carriage still. Peeling and lifting, contracting the glutes, engaging the abs, and lifting up to your shoulder bridge, keeping that carriage perfectly still. A little bit harder to do with your hands lifted. If you want, you can always bring your hands down. Just a little balance check here. Good. Lifting up to your one long line, hips, shoulders, knees, holding still. Take a nice deep inhale, press yourself out, squeeze your ball. Good, exhale, drag that carriage close, lifting your hips back to their full height. Good, inhale, press yourself away, come back to the lower post extension of the legs. And exhale, drag that carriage close, hips will naturally rise. One last time, inhale, press yourself out, lengthening the legs fully. And slowly drag that carriage close, stopping at the top, all 10 toes face forward, keeping your carriage close. Engaging your glutes, and we're going to pulse that ball. We squeeze and pulse, and pulse, and pulse. Good for six. Keep lifting the glutes. Don't let them drop more. Three, two, hold to the top. Slower than you want to. Begin to roll down your spine. Rippling through. One more time. Softening into the back. Melting that lower back down. Really, really nice. Take that ball out. Place it along your side. Reach out beside you for your right. Place the ball of your left foot on the foot bar. Make sure that your foot is directly underneath, underneath your knee. Good. And then take your right foot and place it into this little squishy part of the ring. It'll feel nicer on your foot. Bend the knee in. This will feel nice. Good. And now make sure that this foot is directly under your knee. Good. For a long time. Good. Bend the knee in towards your chest. And exhale, press the leg up 
for the ceiling. Heel goes up as if you're going to step on the ceiling. Good. Making sure that your opposite foot is on the foot bar is on the ball right now, right underneath your knee. Good. Press into that ball where your foot, into your right foot, and send yourself away. Whichever foot you have on the foot bar, some of you have right and some of you have left. So press out into the foot bar leg and hold. Feel the stretch coming down both sides of the body. Good. If the ball of your foot is on the foot bar, begin to lower your heel down. Give yourself a nice stretch. And inhale, lift the heel up high. And bend your knees down, your tire to a close. Once the tire is closed, slowly start to take your foot out of the ring. Bring that foot down to the foot bar with the ball of the foot on underneath your knee. Slide the other foot into the ring. Keep the tire close to the first, bend the knee. Press the leg up towards the ceiling. Feel a nice stretch for that hamstring. Good. Inhale, bend the knee in towards your chest. Press it up as if you're going to step forward on the ceiling with your heel. Lengthen out. And then you can press away from your foot bar to lengthen both legs. Feel a nice stretch come down the roll hamstring. Good. Slowly begin to roll your heel under the foot bar. Lift your heel up high. Good. More and more roll your foot under. Lift your heel up high. Bend the knee, begin to close the carriage completely. Once your carriage is closed, you can take your foot out of the ring and slowly place the ring right alongside you.
Make sure the back is right against the shoulder blocks so you feel safe. Good. And into your center, even though we're not rolling back, sometimes we have slippery pants. We don't want to feel like we're going anywhere. So if your hips are super tight, let your legs just completely dangle to the outside. If they feel good resting in their corner, you can rest in there. I find that I feel best when they just completely release so that my hip flexors don't work. But you do it feel good. So sitting up nice and tall, we're going to bring the hand straps just to your hips. So press a little tension in them. Good. Now, most important thing here is posture. Lift up out of your waist. Shoulders are down, back of the body. Good. Take a nice deep inhale. Exhale, slowly begin to reach your arms up in front of you. Good. Put your arms nice and straight. Feel how the form wants to pull you back. Try and try again. So lift up out of your waist and slow your arms down by your side. It's intentionally light so you can work your abdominals as well. So inhale, we're reaching up. Put your still on foot. And then slowly lowering your arms down by your side. Good. Exhale, abs draw in. Don't let your torso shift at all as you reach. Shoulders drop down the back of the body. Inhale, float the arms down. Go taller, lifting up out of your waist. Good. One more inhale. Exhale, float up, dropping the shoulders down. Careful not to leave that. Hold still here. Good. Turn your palms in. Put a little soft bend like you're holding a giant beach ball. Good. Inhale, open the arms to your side, keeping your fingertips in your peripheral vision. And exhale, close them back in. Good. Super slowly. Inhale, open your arms, keeping your arms in your peripheral vision. Good. Exhale, close them in, feeling the rib cage close. Good. Inhale, opening. And exhale, close the right at the end. Good. There you go. Good. Come and fold and shake the right at the end. Good. Two more like that. Good. 
Last one. Pressing away to the end. And inhale, bend. Good. Slowly, carefully, we're going to drop those um, hands drop down onto the peg. Good. And we're going to come down off the box and then get back on facing the mirror line on your side. So come down first so we don't get on from a seated position. Grab hold of those shoulder blocks. Slide one leg at a time over. Good. And you're going to slide so far forward that the box is right at the edge of your back. So now you've warmed up your chest, your back. Your body is really ready for this extension. If your lower back is bothering you, separate your leg, open your knees, bend your knees, and crisscross the ankles. Otherwise, lengthen up your legs, zip up your inner thighs, if so much together and you have one leg. Good. Your quads are so engaged that your knees lift up slightly off the block. Good. Reach your hands down for those hand shots, lift them up off of the peg, and walk your hands up to your thumb or right on the top of the seat. Good. And we are outside the edges of the reformer. Draw the belly button up and in. Legs are lifted and engaged. Good. Take a nice deep inhale. Start sliding the shoulders down the body. Straight arms. Pull those straps by your hips. Pull. Exhale. Slowly lengthen your arms out. Crown of the head reaches towards your mouth. Good. Inhale. Sweep the arms back. Begin to lift your chest. Find some extension in your upper spine and pull. Exhale. Slowly lengthen back out. So we're moving nice and slow here to find your extension. You don't want to work the arms. You want to work the back. So inhale, squeeze the arms all the way back to the hips and lift your chest. Yeah, keep the gaze low. Exhale, slowly release the strength. Inhale, pull that as you want to up some more to your side. And exhale, reaching forward. Good. One more. Inhale, squeeze the arms back. Find some extension, lifting your chest and your back. And reach it forward. Good. Round forward over your back. Give yourself a moment to just release. So we're going to do one more. I you guys be committed here. Um, when you come up, try not to just pull the strings back and forth, like super fast, because we're not getting any extension that way. Best to do fewer reps, slowly pull those arms back, lifting your chest. And you pull there as you find your extension, and then you slowly release your extension. So we're only going to do three more, but we're going to make them super amazing great ones. So lengthen, <laughs> lengthen up the legs or cross your legs over to the chest, squeeze the legs together. Your quads are lifted, so your legs are reaching for the center of the room. Belly button pulls up and in. Good. Arms are straight by your side. Take a nice deep inhale. Begin to sweep your arms back. Lift your chest. Find that extension in your back. Hold. Oh, good. Slowly begin to lengthen your arms out, reaching the crown of the head towards the mirror as you lengthen everything back out. So continue to take length. Inhale. Sweep your arms back. Lifting the chest. Find some extension. And hold. Oh, beautiful. Now inhale. Reach your arms towards the front of the mirror as you lengthen the crown of the head forward. Very last one. Inhale, sweep those arms back, chest lift, upper back, extend. Good. And then exhale, reach those arms forward, everything extends forward, and wrap forward on your back. That was beautiful, really nice. So when you work on your extension, you want to think about that feeling that you just had. Hang up your loops, and slowly extend one leg at a time over the back.
tailbone is heavy. So maybe your legs are at 90, maybe they're at 75. Keep the tailbone heavy, reach your legs further away. Right there, good. Slowly let go of your rope to keep your feet in the straps. We're gonna develop some nice little leg circles here. Inhale, reach the legs out towards the side walls. Exhale, circle them out and down, heels come to me. Making sure not to go below 45. Inhale, reach up and up over your ropes. Exhale, open to the side and look over your ropes. And squeeze your heels together. Good. Inhale, reach the legs up towards the ceiling. And exhale, circle them out, down and around. Making sure that your pelvis is staying steady. Your hips are not shifting during the circle. It's a nice even circle. You have resistance in all energy, all parts. Making sure not to go below 45. Good. Holding at 45 degrees. And now let's reverse our circle. Inhale, open the legs out to the side. Exhale, reach the legs out towards the ceiling. Heel me. Good. Send the legs out to 45 degrees. Opening up to the side, reaching up to the ceiling, and heel knees. And again, your range of motion depends on that pelvic bone stability. If you can keep your hips still, you can go for a little bit of wider range of motion, but never compromising your stability for a bigger circle. One more. Good. Pull your legs to 25 degrees. Bend your knees in. And you're going to take one at a time out of the straps. Hang up the straps in front of you. Find the foot bar and take the bend with your opposite leg. So, slowly, carefully roll to your side to come to stand and face the front of the knee.